Hi everyone, welcome to Tathastu. I'm Minakshi Chaudhary. And today, India is going to make a new history as Chandrayaan-3 is just few hours away to make an attempt to land on the south pole of the moon. So let's see some interesting fact about this historic mission and which are also important for your UPSC examination. So let's see what is the context. Chandrayaan-3 is just hours away as I said from an attempt to make uh, to land on the moon and it will be an attempt to land on the south pole of the moon which will make India if the mission is successful and hopefully the mission will be successful as the whole nation is praying for its success. So if it lands successfully it will make India the first country to land a spacecraft on lunar body south pole. This, uh, this would be the first, India would be the first country to land on the south pole of the mission, uh, south pole of the moon. So we have to remember this, that the Chandrayaan 3 is trying to make an attempt to land on the southern pole, which is very less discovered. And Chandrayaan 3 is expected to land around at 6, 4 p.m. today, that is 23rd of August, making India the fourth country to pull off a soft landing on the moon surface so it uh, india will become the f uh, first country if it lands uh, it, if it uh, succeeds in making a soft landing on the southern pole and fourth country to pull off a soft land now moving on the south pole is important so why this mission is historic because south pole is important why because the region is believed to contain water ice which can support a future moon settlement there are attempts to make settlements on the surface of the moon. So if we are able to explore the area, we are able to explore what kind, uh, what what kind of life can this surface support? Then it would be a historic mission, and we would be able to see how can how could it support a future settlement. Now, if successful, the Chandrayaan three mission will be a huge boost for. India's space industry, of course, will be, you know, it will be a matter of pride for us. We will be the first country in the world to make a soft landing on the southern pole of the moon. And it will also cement India standing as a space power as well as it will have implication for future lunar, uh, lunar explorations. Uh, as of now, India has, has not made any announcement for future lunar exploration. Now, moving on towards Chandrayaan-3. The mission will also demonstrate new technology for our new interplanetary mission and uh, Chandrayaan-3 contains of a, a lander and a rover. The rover is named Pragyan. The rover will analyze the chemical makeup of the moon surface and search for water as well on the southern pole of the moon to supplement the future settlements which we have talked about. Now, what is a soft landing? We will understand what, uh, when Chandrayaan 2 failed. Why Chandrayaan 2 failed? Because it could not attempt, it, its attempt was not successful in soft landing. Now, we will understand what is soft landing, but uh, before that, what are the mission? Uh, what are the objectives of this Chandrayaan 3? It has three objectives. First of all, to demonstrate a safe and soft landing because of which Chandrayaan 2 failed in 2019. So the first and the most important object is to demonstrate a safe and soft landing. Secondly, to demonstrate a rover roving on the moon and to conduct in situ means on-site scientific experiment which, which the, uh, and data which the scientists can later analyze for their so these are the important objectives of this mission. Now we will understand what is soft landing because of which Chandrayaan 2 failed. So soft landing simply means landing at a gentle and controlled speed to not sustain damage to the spacecraft. As the name suggests, soft landing means at a very controlled speed because the rover moves at a very fast speed. Speed. So soft landing means how it controls its speed without human inter intervention and lands on the surface of the moon that is the south pole of the moon. Now moving towards why is Chandrayaan 3 landing on <coughs> the south pole? So we have seen it and it will make India first country in the world to land on the south pole. So that is a matter of pride as well and for uh, seeing the future settlement plan. Now uh, before that all of previous spacecraft to have landed on moon have landed in the uh, region which are near the 
moon's equator now it is easier and safer to land a spacecraft over there and it is difficult for a spacecraft to land on the south pole we will see it later in further the terrain and temperature are more conducive or more supportive for long and sustained operation of instrument near the moon's equator where all the previous uh, spacecraft have landed and what is most important thing about the, uh, this area is sunlight is also present offering a regular supply of energy if some of the instrument are solar powered then sunlight provides that energy to those solar powered instruments now coming to the polar region especially the south pole where the chandrayaan 3 will be making an attempt the polar regions of the moon are different especially the south pole because it is completely dark region Uh, without sunlight sunlight there is absence of sunlight while near the moon equator there is presence of sunlight which can supplement the instrument which are powered by the solar energy on the other hand on the south pole there is completely dark and absence of sunlight and temperatures can go below minus uh, 230 degrees celsius so it is very cold area as well now it creates difficulty in the operation of the instrument it is very cold and it is very dark so it will definitely uh, hamper the these experiment these research techniques and there are large craters craters basically means holes all over this place and this is the picture which was recently released by chandrayaan 3 so now moving on as a result the polar regions of the moon have remained unexplored because they are very dark then we have seen that they are very dark absence of sunlight as well so that could not conduct they do not it is not very conducive environment to conduct research now the extremely cold temperatures which can go to around minus 30 as we have seen could mean that anything trapped in the region would remain frozen now this pole south pole about which we are talking it is very cold area and if uh, you have anything uh, if you have anything in that cold area a frozen area specifically that thing remains intact without undergoing much change now on this the rock and the soil in moons north and south poles could therefore provide clues how the early solar system if or uh, how the uh, early solar system was that is why this mission is also important to explore the early solar system now what needs to happen for chandrayaan 3 to land successfully why uh, we could have achieved this feat in 2019 but the mission uh, failed because of uh, because of failure of soft landing but what needs to be done now now the last 15 minutes are very crucial the critical technical maneuver that the chandrayaan 3 lander will have to perform when it enters the last of uh, the final 15 minutes before 6:00 pm are really very important why because uh, the attempt to make a soft landing on the moon will be to transfer uh, it uh, it actually uh, plays at a very high speed so the attempt will be made transfer its high speed horizontal position to a vertical one in order to facilitate a gentle descent on the surface where a attempt will be made to control the speed and then make a soft landing on the moon now moving on what happens after chandrayaan 3 successfully lands first of all it, uh, india will make history india will create history it will become first nation in the world other than that spacecraft often carry certain instrument which are known as uh, payload certain instrument and experiments are carried by the spacecraft which we know uh, which are often termed as payloads that observe and record what is happening in space now this information which they carry out is then relayed to earth for the scientists which they analyze and study and tell us what is happening in the universe what is happening in the space now this spacecraft the uh, chandrayaan 3 is carrying six payloads on the vikram lander and rover pragyan they are the same as the previous mission and there will be four scientific payloads on the lander uh, uh, they have their different objectives 
to study the quakes, the thermal properties of the lunar surface, the thermal properties about the moon, the temperature, the changes in temperature. So they will be conducting research about that. Uh, the scientists will analyze them data. Then they will be uh, conducting research on changes in plasma near the surface and a passive experiment to help accurately measure the distance between earth and the moon. So there are uh, basically many objectives which will be fulfilled if the mission is successful. And the fourth payload which it, uh, <coughs> which it is uh, carrying is from the NASA. So there are, these are the few objectives which will be achieved if the mission is successful. Moving on, Pragyan will also use, the rover will also use laser beams to melt a piece of lunar surface called regolith. So Pragyan have <coughs> some laser beams which it will use to melt a surface which is known as regolith and analyze the gases which are emitted in this process which will also help to study the environment present on this lunar surface. Now through this mission India will not only access the wealth of knowledge about the lunar surface because we have seen there are many objects right now. We have seen the too many objectives to study the thermal properties, quakes, distance between earth and moon, the plasma. So India will have a wealth of knowledge about all of this and it also have potential for human habitation in the future. So many objectives will be achieved through this mission if it is successful. Another payload, it is carrying six payloads as we have seen. So another payload which is known as the radio anatomy of moon bound hypersensitive ionosphere and atmosphere. I know it's a big name but you can remember it by simply calling it Ramba. So there is another payload which goes by the name Ramba. It will measure the density of charged particles near the lunar surface and how it changes. So when we study, uh, when we study science, we hear these, what is density, what is density of charged particles, what are charged particles. So we study basically about all of these things. So these things will be by the scientists uh, with the help of the payload which it is carrying, which is as Ramba. And also it carries an alpha particle X-ray spectrometer APXS. It will measure the chemical composition. Right. See, there's so many objectives which will be achieved and it will uh, give us a wealth of knowledge if this mission is successful. And this will, uh, this measure, APXS, will measure the chemical composition and infer the mineralogical composition of moon surface. While there's another laser-induced breakdown spectroscope which will determine the elemental composition of the lunar soil from Thus, from uh, measuring this distance between the earth and the moon, the thermal properties to this lunar soil, to checking the composition of the lunar soil, there are too many objectives which will be fulfilled by the Chandrayaan mission. I hope you find the uh, session interesting. And if you find it interesting, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.